I got into biostatistics because I was a gambler, if I must tell you the truth. And, and I love the idea of trying to understand what's true about a system by using information that's uh, become available. We now can record uh, enormous amounts of information about the um, characteristics of disease in many patients and keep track of all of the um, clinical information about those patients so that when a new patient comes to Johns Hopkins, we can use our experience in all those previous patients and bring them to bear. And genetic information helps us in that regard. So, so in that sense, uh, medicine is becoming an information science as much as it is a biological science. But there's a, a misconception that if we simply record more and more information and we manage that information uh, safely, that somehow, uh, through the use of computers, what is true will emerge. And uh, nothing could be further from the truth. But really, uh, the trick for bringing to bear the benefits of this genomic uh, information is to learn how to analyze, to use that information intelligently. And uh, that's where biostatistics comes in. Biostatistics is a field about how to infer what is true from noisy information. We want to refine what we think is true for a population and understand whether that population perspective applies to the individual or how it ought to be changed for a particular individual. And that involves probability models to uh, identify how best to treat the new patient. So um, what's interesting about individualized health is it involves a dialogue between studies of populations of people and of individuals. And at Johns Hopkins, it's the integration of our basic biological scientists, clinical scientists, and our information scientists that allows us to develop hypotheses about what might be true, and then to use the data to test those specific hypotheses. And there's no other place that can do this sort of focused research as well as Johns Hopkins because how closely integrated our scientists are with our clinicians.